this video, we are going to learn how to work with Jupyter Notebooks. First, open a new command prompt if you are a Windows user or uh, the terminal if you are a Mac or Linux user. And then you can execute this command, Jupyter Notebooks. And hit enter. And keep the terminal open at, as it is. It will then open the default web browser with the URL mentioned in the command prompt or terminal. When the notebook opens in your browser, you will see this notebook homepage. Now let's see what are the components, what are the different components um, of Jupyter Notebooks. First, you have this URL. This is the URL on which Jupyter Server is running. If you are running the Jupyter on localhost, this will be the same URL shown in the console when you started Jupyter Software. This files tab lists the directories and files in the home folder. And then we have this running tab. This running tab will show you a list of all open notebooks. When you start a new notebook or open an existing notebook, a kernel will get attached to it. All such running kernels will be listed under this tab. If you want to open an existing Jupyter notebook, um, they usually ends with I, uh, .ipynb extension. So you should be able to see that in the file tab here or inside one of these folders. And here we have this new tab. This new button allows you to uh, create new folders or notebooks, text files, and terminal. Now let's create a new folder. I'm going to create a new folder on my desktop. So I select desktop and on my desktop, I'm going to create a folder. So you got a new and then select folder. Here you can see this is my new folder. You can rename this new folder by selecting this and select new name and let me rename as lesson one. So now this is my folder. Now let's add a new notebook to that folder. So you go inside that folder and then here you go new and now you select Python 3. So now here we have our new notebook. So here we have this title. Here this title is the name of the notebook. You can give them, give it a proper title. Let's say this as lesson one, file one. And hit rename. So now you can see, so this is the name of the uh, notebook. And here this title you set become the file name for the notebook. And it will have this extension .ipynb, which stands for IPython notebook. And here we have the cells. Any text or code that you write goes in the cell. Basically the cells are the building blocks of any Jupyter notebook. There are different types of cells. Uh, we, no, we only use this code and markdown cell type. If you start with the code cell type, here the code cell type self allows you to write live programming codes. You can perform any sort of programming inside this code type self. For example, let's start with print hello world. If you press run, here you get the output. Another example, two plus three. Once you hit run, now I expect it to give me the sum of these two numbers. Two plus, two plus three is equal to five. So you can see, you can perform any sort of programming inside this code type cell. 
Once you ex and also you can see once you execute a cord cell, Jupyter Notebook will present the output just below the cell. Now let's see markdown cell. So here I have a markdown cell. So let's type this is my first paragraph. Now make sure that this is a markdown cell type and once you run it, here you get the output. In contrast to code type, type cells, if you use a markdown cell, now you can see it will get printed inside the cell itself. To create headings, you can use hashtag symbol. First, let me make it a markdown cell. And you can use hashtag symbol to give headings. Heading one. Run this. Here you get the heading. If you want to create a subheading, instead of using one hashtag, you can use two hashtag. Let's make it as a, make sure that you are dealing with a markdown cell and two hashtag subheading. Once you run this, here you get the subheading. Another thing that you can do is you can move these cells using these up and down keys. You, have, you set your cursor here. Using these up and down arrow keys, you can move your cells. Okay, so this is your first notebook. Now let's see how to download and share your Jupyter notebook. So when it comes to this Jupyter Notebooks, Jupyter Environment allows you to download files in a multiple formats. You can go to files. Under that here we have download as. This download option allows you to download the notebook in a format of your choice. I'm going to download it as an HTML file. So this is my HTML file. Okay, so if you want to exit from this session, you go back to the Jupyter Notebook homepage. Here you come here and this quit button allows you to log out from the current session. Okay, so that's it for this video. Happy learning with Python.